Hello everyone and welcome back to the match here on WWE 2K22 in the World Cup of Wrestling. This one is Uruguay versus South Korea and this is El Fuego versus Ricky Dozan. Now El Fuego is a real person. He has wrestled um, across a lot of North America including a couple of matches for WWE. A couple of matches for Impact. I say well, WWE in like, God he's hench. I don't think he's supposed to be that hench, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, a couple of matches for WWE in the mid-90s. A couple of matches on uh, TNA Wrestling in the early 2000s when they didn't even have a TV deal. So um, yeah, there's not a lot to him, is there really? Well, there is a lot to him by the looks of him. He's a hench man. But Ricky Dozan, um, legend of Japanese wrestling. Um, started as a sumo wrestler before making his debut in professional wrestling in 1951, um, including a lot of work over in America, and uh, winning the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Um, having some big matches along the way, he actually won the World Heavyweight Championship away from Lou Fez in NWA. Um, so yeah, he's, he's a big name in the world of wrestling. And a lot of people have said that um, he is an inspiration behind a lot of the, the top wrestlers you see. However, I have just realized that I may have made one slight error here. Um, that I've put him down as South Korea. And it turns out he may have actually been born in North Korea. Um... Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? It is what it is. He's Korean. Okay. Let's let us let us start here bridging the gap. Let's let's have peace between worlds, and he can represent South Korea rather than North Korea. Uh, it, apparently, in North Korea, they've already won the World Cup in um, in uh, Qatar. That's basically how their media works. So they've already won the World Cup already, anyway. So they're fine. And that was a chance to win the World Cup of Wrestling here as well. And uh, yeah, Ricky Dozan was murdered as well, apparently. At the age of 39, he was murdered in Tokyo, Japan. And there's a massive power driver. He might have just finished off El Fuego here. There's the pin. Could this be the first point for South Korea in the tournament against Uruguay? It is Ricky Dozan. With the big victory here against El Fuego. And he joins Kofi Kingston joint top of the group with that victory. And that was quick and simple there for Ricky Dozan. Uh, I don't know if he's on our ranking system yet. He is not. So that's another new name on our universe mode. I mean, it gets to the point. You, you know we're using lots of different people when we end up with wrestlers that debuted in the 50s and died in... He died in 1963. So this guy has not wrestled in 70-odd years. But here he is now back in our universe mode. And this is the whole point of our Euro uh, universe mode, by the way. If you're not... Um, if you're new around here, basically what we like to do is... There's no limits to our universe mode. There's no time limit, no style limit, no nothing at all. If we can get a core, we will use that person. And it, it's great because it does open up some incredible opportunities. I mean, don't get me wrong. The World Cup of Wrestling is going to make some weird and wonderful matches. <laughs> it's not very often you're going to see, uh, for example, Ricky Dozan go up against Kofi Kingston. But that's going to happen as part of this um, universe mode. And it'll be interesting to see how it will work. And like I said, there's no limit. We've got nearly a thousand different male wrestlers now on our ranking system, which you can see in the uh, the link in the description down below if you want to see roughly where everyone sits. We started at the beginning of 2021. There has been points given for every match and points taken away for losing as well. So, so much has happened and it gives a real indication of how well people on our universe mode are doing. But yeah, there's no limit. Anybody can be involved as long as they're a real wrestler. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. We'll see you tomorrow when we restart 
with Group A for the second round of matches. We've got the Sultan versus Rouge Rouge and Hugo Savanovic versus Malachi Black. See you then. Bye-bye.